Delaney Wall seems like any other high school student. But two words epithelioid make the Bayport senior hemangio endothelioma. One in a million. Shock is just the first thing that comes to my head. That was Wall's reaction when at age 12 she was diagnosed with EHE, an extremely rare and often deadly vascular sarcoma. A form of cancer that produces unpredictable tumors on blood vessels. I kind of sat there for a second and I was like, okay, like I'm going to be okay. This is crazy, but it's going to be okay. The Wall family quickly found out not only is there no cure for this disease, there was zero funding as well. So Delaney and her mother, Julie, decided to do something about it. After about a year of my diagnosis, the EHE Foundation was born. Outside of helping her mom, who is president of the foundation, Delaney is graduating eighth in her class with a 426 GPA, is taking all college level courses, and helps bring perspective and much more to a Pirates team looking to win a second consecutive state championship. It does help them to step back and say, hmm, yeah, she's, she's someone that we should uh, look to and follow and, and be inspired by. On the sidelines, she's a voice of positivity on the field. She's a voice of positivity. She's a workhorse. Wall's treatment includes frequent scans and experimental chemo and her goals became clear after her diagnosis in 2014. I was one of 11 teenagers at the time and of those 11 teenagers there's only four of us still here today. They wouldn't want me to be sad and give up. They would want me to keep fighting. So I wake up every day with a smile on my face and I'm like you know this is another day to represent everybody that I lost and it's another day to work for a cure for the people who are going to be diagnosed in the future. Ultimately I just want to help people. And when you hear that you realize it's not EHE that makes Delaney one in a million. It's her courage and positive attitude. Reporting in Swamico, Ryan Rodig, Local 5 Sports.